I've got a lovely recipe using haddock fillets and it's a herb and nut crusted haddock fillet so it is so haddock is a white fish it's sustainable it's plentiful and we get all our fish from albatross seafoods john up there in donegal and killy Beggs. so this is what it looks like it's a round fish so you have two fillets you can see the little line going down thumbprint if you want to call it that and this is a fillet so normally what we do is get our fish usually filleted or we get it on the bone but a fillet is off the bone and then we pin bone it and for this recipe I'm going to keep the skin on it so I already have two small little portions I'll just move this out of the way and I'll show you and it's just so versatile so I've done lots of lovely recipes you know using the hana the lovely tacos just it's a very very versatile um recipe this and it's tasty it's light it's a great fish so i mean when i go around on my uh, seafood shows around ireland i get to meet so many wonderful fishermen and i always ask them what's your favorite fish so many of them say haddock they absolutely love it so um, if you go to your local fishmonger they will pin bone it keep the skin on that's optional I like to do that and I'm going to show you a lovely kind of like a herb a crust uh, we're going to put some nuts and that into it so the first thing I need to do it's very very simple is melt some butter okay so I already have some of the haddock in just in the actual oven cooking so I'm going to show you the whole process and uh, these are just some breadcrumbs and what we're going to do is we're going to grate some lime chop some parsley and then we're going to put some walnuts but the lime is going in to the butter to infuse it so lemon, lime, orange, uh, lemon and lime are probably the two l lovely citrus fruit that work really, really well with, um, with haddock so and, and, and nearly all fish. So grate that there. So I'm just using my little grater, okay? And then with that, then I'm gonna slice this. So before I just slice that, I'm gonna chop some walnuts. So walnuts add great flavor, so they do, and texture. So we're gonna chop that. So literally probably about four walnuts should be enough. So just nice and small, these have already kind of been toasted but remember they're going into the oven in the crumbs so you don't have to toast them beforehand if you don't have time don't worry about that so chop them not too small not too big if you don't like nuts you can leave them out you can use some lovely pine nuts so this will give the most beautiful texture so when you're chopping like this over and back that's great so that's that there and then using the knife this is going to go right into the bowl just over here so we just have some white breadcrumbs. You can use some wholemeal breadcrumbs. I've done this recipe many times with uh, wheat and bread too, and it works really well. Okay, I don't want to pick too strong of a herb because I'm using some basil pesto in this. So I'm using some lovely Italian flat leaf parsley. So we roll this up here, and I just want to show you this. We're going to mix this now. Watch the fingers. See the way I have that curved. Now hold it over and back. Lovely. So chop it. And then this is going to go in with the lime, the butter, the lime zest, the butter. So you're infusing that. So I suppose when you think of a flavour of butter, you think of garlic butter. And that would work really well just with pan fried haddock fillets, a bit of garlic butter, a bit of some potatoes, a bit of broccoli or peas, and it's gorgeous. So that's what I have there. And I'm going to keep the pan. I'm going to use this in a minute, but I'm going to mix this all together. So just mix through the nuts using my spatula here. And just kind of scrape that out there so I'm gonna cook some spinach in that and then just mix this all together so that's your lovely buttered breadcrumbs with the nuts the walnuts add lovely texture into this so they can be made ahead if you want to now one tip if you keep these in the fridge what will happen they'll go firm because the butter sets just literally leave them at room temperature for 20 minutes or pop them into the microwave for 10 or 15 seconds so we will get organized so these are our tomatoes, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a knife. So I'm gonna slice and I'm gonna place the actual haddock when I crust it now on top of this, which will give lovely flavor and lovely freshness. So we don't wanna waste the lime, we've used the zest. So if you look at the paper, first of all, that I'm using, it's parchment paper. So that's two slices of lime. Parchment paper, nothing will stick to it. It's fantastic. Now, a little bit different this one. You can brush it with egg wash and put on the crumbs, but this is some regular uh, full fat mayonnaise. This is some really nice fresh pesto. And I'm gonna put in one large spoonful of the pesto in here. It's an excellent fresh pesto and basil works really, really well. So you just mix this all together. Simple as that. So that's your lovely pesto mayonnaise. Now, for the two 
haddock fillets. The easiest way to do this is just to get the fish like this and then literally with the back of the spoon, just kind of spread this all over, just right to the edge. You can use egg as I say, but I think this will give lovely flavor to it and just go to the very end. So just, you can use a brush, but I'm using the spoon, it works out very easy. And then just gently sprinkle this and then press this. So the excess can fall back into the bowl and you can freeze these crumbs so you can. So it's a super quick and tasty recipe. Now press them on and if any of them fall off, don't worry. You can put more on, just gently pat them in there. There's a little corner I missed. Same for the other one. So remember there's no bones. So this is, um, these are two little uh, portions of haddock. The skin is on, I like that. And it's not a very thick uh, piece of fish here, so it's not gonna take long to cook. But I already have some in the oven, which I've had on now in the oven for about maybe eight, nine minutes. So it shouldn't be far from being done. So this can be all done. See that what I have on the tray here can be all done, ready to go in the fridge. And then all you do is take it out for 15 minutes before you bake it and then at about 180 and it'll take approximately about 15 to 20 minutes to bake off. There, thereabouts. It depends on the thickness of it. So just gently press that and then sit that. So you can see that there. You've been really gently, just lift it. Don't worry if it falls in, sit it on top. Gently press that and the same for that there. Now, I'm gonna wash my hands. This needs to go into the oven. So I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm gonna show you what uh, I did with the tomatoes. I just washed the hands because I've touched the raw fish. So haddock is a very delicate flavor. It's not a strong flavor. Great like for doing this crust. Really, really nice for making goujons. And again, it is sustainable and plentiful. And that's really, really important. So for the lovely cherry tomatoes, these are on the vine and these are growing in Ireland. So I'm just gonna put a tiny little drizzle of some lovely Irish rapeseed oil. You can use olive oil. I'm a big believer in using as much Irish produce as possible. A pinch of salt. Okay, and then a pinch of salt just over the fish. Now remember, I've used salted butter. So the key into this is the parchment paper. Nothing will stick to it. So I'm gonna check on this. I'm gonna heat this pan because we're gonna cook some lovely um, spinach. If you have your oven preheated uh, at 180, okay? And then you just literally put the fish in and this has been in now for nearly about 15 minutes at this stage. So I'm gonna, actually a really good tip. When the tomatoes are cooked, the fish is usually cooked. So I'll pop that in there. So just let's have a look here. You can see the lovely crust. The tomatoes have kept their shape. If I use the small knife and we go say in here into the center and it's just literally flaking away so it is. So the fish is cooked there so just check it in the middle there and you see that lovely crust. I know by looking at it it's done because it's not a very thick uh, piece. Uh, of haddock. Very, very quickly, I'm going to show you how to wilt some spinach. I'm going to use about half of this butter here, and we're going to serve this with some baby spinach, just wilted very, very quickly. It's a very uh, kind of fancy term for just literally salty and very quickly cooking some leafy greens. So, we're using some baby spinach. I'm going to put a nice handful of the spinach, and when you're, when you're cooking spinach, you think, oh my god. You have an awful lot of spinach, that'll do four people, it won't. That's probably about one portion there. So a nice big handful. We're gonna put in some sea salt, a little bit of black pepper, and if you want to, you can put in nutmeg, which works really well. I'm not, but you can. You can put in some crushed garlic, and you can put in um, a pinch of sugar if you want to. Really important when you cook spinach, tissue paper. We put it in here, and that will absorb any of the excess moisture. So I'll just move this out of the way just while that's cooking. Again, you can do this in a wok. I'm just using my pan, my small little pan, and look at the way it wilts. So you saw how high it was. So keep the pan nice and high. With the baby spinach, just simply wash it. No need to remove those lovely little stalks because they're lovely and delicate and they give a nice little bit of texture. And that's it done, guys. It's as simple as that. You can serve this with rice, the haddock with rice, with little baby boiled potatoes, with a bit of mashed potato, whatever you want. So into the kitchen paper. And I'll just show you this now. So what the kitchen paper does, it keeps it, um, it absorbs any excess moisture. So that's really important and it will keep it warm. So I'm just gonna leave that there. We're gonna serve up. So the first thing I'll get, I will get my lovely spinach. So I'll just use a spoon. 
okay so the spinach will go just in the center of the plate so you can see the way the kitchen paper absorbs any of the excess butter and there is a lot of water in spinach so just literally just put this kind of spread that out obviously if we're going to do this I have it in a nice uh, warm plate preheat the plate so we're going to get our lovely haddock fillet this one here so gently slide it off and this sits on top and then our cherry tomatoes i'll go for these here so they're nice and soft they've kept their shape they haven't gone too mushy and i think that's a really simple recipe showcasing the very very best of irish haddock so that's our uh, herb and nut crusted haddock fillets wilted spinach uh, roasted cherry tomatoes all done on the tray and this can be done like for you know six ten whatever people you have if you want it as a supper dinner uh, lunchtime it's lovely and light the key is getting really nice fresh irish haddock get your fishmonger to uh, pin bone it so there's no bones to fillet it they'll do all the hard work for you and you just do this beautiful dish so happy cooking i hope you're enjoying all the lovely haddock recipes and enjoy this one too thank you so much